What's up, y'all? Welcome back, man. Today we have a lot of things to get into, a lot of layered conversations that we have to touch on today. So, before we get into it, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you know every single time that I post here on YouTube. But if you want to listen to the audio only version, you can go to SoundCloud, you can go to Spotify, you can go to iTunes as well to get the audio versions only. And if you are here on YouTube, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up so you know the algorithm does what the algorithm needs to be doing. But we got a lot, man. We got it's a lot of the baby shit, right? It's layers and layers and layers. Some I agree, some I don't. A lot of it I really don't agree with when it comes to the baby. Not necessarily him, but things that are happening to him now because of what he did at Rolling Loud. So, one of the first things that happened to the baby after the conversations going on at Rolling Loud, obviously everybody knows what happened. He got on stage, he made comments about people with HIV, and he also made uh, statements about guys sucking dick in the parking lot, and people did not like that, right? So it caused a big stir, big controversy. That part to me... You know, was it insensitive? Yes, right? Was it ignorant? Yes, because, like, bringing up a disease to me is ignorant, right? Second thing in the parking lot thing, I mean, it's whatever, right? He had, he, nobody said nothing about the girl's pussy got smelled, whatever. But I think that the, where he messed up, in which I don't know why people can't agree on this, where he messed up at is saying pretty much he's essentially saying only gay, nasty motherfuckers have AIDS. And that's a trope that's been used against gay people forever, just to, like, demify and whatever you want to call it, right? You don't have to agree with being gay. I think, I think that's a key difference in these conversations that need to be had. You cannot agree with homosexuality, but you can also not be hateful in the way you don't agree. Now, I'm not saying that the baby is being hateful, but a lot of commentary that people are attaching to the baby statements are hateful. I said that on our, the podcast, absolutely sure. I'll make videos about things, just discussing them. Like, I'll discuss Lil Nas X. Now, people will get on the video and comment shit like, yeah, gays need to go to hell. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I could disagree with homo. I don't even disagree with homosexuality. You could do what you want to do. Now, we when we turn to a conversation about in my home with my kids, what I prefer, then we can get into a completely different conversation. But as a whole, it ain't got nothing to do with me. That's the kind of the code I live by. It don't got shit to do with me. Right? It don't got shit to do with me. Now, if we were to get the conversation about Lil Nas X and pressing on the kids, that's another conversation that we could have. It's not a hateful conversation. It's just a, a rational conversation. Because within that conversation, I would bring up layered things as, as far as, okay, I wouldn't also want my kid to watch Cardi B shaking her ass naked, right? I wouldn't want to see, you know, gun, gun, shoot them up to my kids either. There's a lot of things I wouldn't want my kid to see. And that's not controversial. And if you take that stance as controversial, something's wrong with you. You're not being honest in the conversation. So, the baby... um, then the baby kind of went ego, right? He kind of went ego. And when you go ego, you always lose. Because the people want to, because with, with cancer culture, a lot of people just want to see you have some humility. They kind of want you to bend the knee to them. Because a lot of the people with cancer culture, let's be honest, they don't have nothing really going on with their lives. They're just yelling into the screens. They're just tweeting at the tweets. They just want to see these powerful celebrities bend the knee. That's what they want. And once you bend the knee, your story will be gone within two days. But when you pump yourself up, when you kind of, it's kind of like you're taunting cancel culture. When you taunt cancel culture, cancel culture will try to come for you. Now, do I think the baby's over? No. I like his music. He makes good music. Did he make a stupid mistake? I think he did. Was it the, mis the initial mistake? Obviously, was the HIV comments. But when he went to say that, you know, my fans ain't the nasty gay ones, that's where the biggest mistakes come from. And that's where I can see people who have HIV, who are gay, being offended. I can I understand that. I don't understand how people can't understand that. So festivals started dropping uh, the baby like flies, right? So first, some place called Parks Life over in UK dropped them. Then he had a concert coming up uh, for Lola, 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 whatever the fuck, Palooza, dropped them. Governor's Ball in New York dropped them. Day and night in uh, Vegas dropped them, right? So everybody's following suit. It's, it's similar to what all of these corporations do when they want to cancel somebody. Look at the biggest example of them all, Donald Trump. What happened with Donald Trump? January 6th happened. People were outraged. People were looking for somebody to blame. And then what happened? The dominoes started to fall. Facebook dropped them, Twitter dropped them, Instagram dropped them. This every it's like dominoes; they all do it simultaneously. I think Twitter was the last one holding that hope. No, no, we're trying to be free speech, Duh. and they fell off and they dropped them too. Same thing happened to the baby. One festival dropped them. Other festivals look like, fuck, we can't be the only ones 
not, we can't be the only ones that still have them because then the, because we're sending a message that we don't support the LGBTQ, which is dumb. I'd really like to ask people in the LGBTQ, do y'all really even give a fuck? Because like I said, a lot of times these people who be crusaders for these movements don't even be people a part of these movements. It'd be the allies that just want to look like good people. It'd be the allies that just want attention. It'd be the allies that really just want to capitalize off a bag from this, you know, group that uh, are being oppressed. That's what they want. So, like I said, they all had to do it. Similar with streaming service with 6 9 Apple drop you. Or they don't drop you, but we're not playlisting you. Oh, no, we're not playlisting them either. Well, we can't be the only ones playlisting them, so we're not going to do it. It's not like group think shit within major corporations. Once you get to that level, that's when shit gets sticky, right? That's when you get canceled. And those are big, like, but the baby can act like, you know, it's all sweet. And we're going to get to because he did apologize again. And that's the last thing we're going to touch on. But and then he was acting like you know oh Parks I don't even I don't even know I was on that oh this one uh, whatever like he was acting like you know I'm the influence you can't stop the influence yada 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 I don't know how the festival bags look but it looked like we might be going back into a shutdown and you're gonna want them bags you're gonna want to collect those festival bags so I'm sure that he's kind of hurting maybe he got a, a a down payment what do they call a front end. He just didn't get to go collect the back end. I would say, hey, if we could contra- contra- what the fuck am I? contractually obligated to do something, and y'all pull out, that's on y'all. Y'all still owe me my money. Right? Because there's I, unless there's a morals clause within the thing. But anyways, this is what the governor's ball had to say. Founders Entertainment does not and will not tolerate hate or discrimination of any kind. We welcome and celebrate the diverse communities that make New York City the greatest city in the world. Thank you to the fans who continue to speak up for what is right. Along with you, we will continue to use our platform for good. A lot of these corporations and big entities that use hip-hop to um, propel themselves, like, let's be honest, if hip-hop didn't go to these festivals, these festivals wouldn't be as popular. Let's say they wouldn't be popular. Obviously, there's big artists and pop. There's Billie Eilish. There's all these, there, there, there's big artists all everywhere. But hip hop has the most diverse group of artists from high level to even lower tier that still can bring out a crowd. Those little names that you see on them festivals that you you know you might not know they might be a little bit underground. Them names can still pull out a crowd. We don't know any mid-tier lower till pop stars we don't know any mid-tier lower till rock stars we don't know any mid-tier lower till when i say pop rock country we don't know any of those people but in hip-hop we have them everybody's not drake but we also got the, the babies the roddies the 21 savages we also got the trippy reds we also got the morays the t- like we have the tears i'm not saying like i'm not trying to diss moray but like you know he's not as well known but people will still rock to a song or two they'll rock to the show Give him 15 minutes. He'll be all right. I don't think any other genre has. So they need hip-hop. That's my point. My point is they need hip-hop. So academics chimed in and started a conversation around festivals, you know, kind of similar to what the baby said when he was like, all you corporations, you know, know what you're getting into. We're rappers. We're not saints. So this is what Ag had to say. We've seen DSPs get involved in canceling artists, removal of those artists from all editorial playlists. It's interesting to see festivals take the same route. The thing that always makes it look fake as fuck when anyone does this is it's always selective. No uniformity. It's just weird how festivals are putting out these elaborate statements about how much they care about humanity and because of that can't have the baby on their show for what he said. Yet, 90% of the artists they book, music is about drugs and murder and it's totally fine for them. He also said, these companies got to choose whether they are all prioritizing the art or morality because they all seem like hypocrites when they try to get on a high horse canceling artist. Hip hop is a genre filled with imperfect individuals telling stories. Why even fuck with it if you want saints? Like, like I said before, they bring out the crowd. It is the, I had an argument with somebody. Hip hop is the most popular music genre in America. P- point blank period, the most influential. It is the most popular point blank. That's why they need it. They don't care about rapping about murder, drugs, this and that. Because, you know, we need those guys. And you guys like that music. But when we get to something controversial, like, you know, gay rights or whatever, then we got to kind of, you know, step back. and We got to kind of weigh out our options. So I don't think the baby should have been banned from all these festivals and concerts, right? Because if he was at these concerts, do we really think the fans wouldn't have shown up? 
It's all about the bottom line at the end of the day. Do you think the fans wouldn't show up if the baby was there? They would still be in the front. My little bitch is a masterpiece. I ain't gonna. They still be in the front jamming the fuck out that song. I needed some shit with some bop. They would still be going crazy. They don't care. The fan base of these festivals cater to do not care. Are there gay people in the crowd? Yes. But I, if they're young, I, I don't know. Because these young people, they be on some bullshit. But they might not even give a damn. They might not even care. They might be like, I mean, I mean, hey, he said what he said. He semi apologized, which was a bad apology. Okay, whatever. Y'all don't really give a damn. When I say y'all, I'm talking about the festivals. They don't care. Who the, who are the heads of these festivals? Guarantee is all white people. I guarantee it. I've seen the rolling out people. It's all white people. So, <clears throat> Charlamagne and God and the Breakfast Club also chimed in on the conversation of festivals caring about one subset group of people, but not when rappers are talking about the destruction of their own community. Let's take a listen. You know, I see an interesting conversation starting about how these festivals and corporations don't sever ties with rappers when they talk about, you know, killing people, or people. celebrating it's gang drugs. culture, celebrating yep. the drug culture, violence against women, disrespecting women. But, you know, this is where they draw the line. So it's clearly okay for us to degrade each other, but not anyone else and i wonder whose job it is to change that if these companies and festivals drew the line against us and stopped allowing artists who do that to perform would the artists change their content i just i just wonder yeah but who who, who does that like how do they decide which one is okay and which one's not that doesn't that doesn't seem correct yeah is that's, it just me no, i think say, a lot of it has to do with uh, sponsors and advertisers too but right? that's why i say i wonder whose job it is to change that right because right should be right and wrong should be wrong so i just you know i wonder you know you know, if, if if they stopped allowing artists who who do who do those things we just mentioned to perform, would the artists change their content? I All right, so <clears throat> just you're going deeper. Who who's the decision makers behind these things? Who's the one pulling the strings to make these things happen? Who are the people? Right? Who's the people? I would like to know. I just want to, who is the person to say, you know what, the baby, you're not you're not performing here no more. Who's pulling the trigger on that? But. Just further conversation to the artist and the music thing. I feel like <clears throat> cause there's a lot of mixed signals and mixed crossings going on with this whole situation. People are bringing up things that are relevant to the other. People are trying to tie Lil Nas X and the baby into the same stratosphere. And, you know, now, if the baby has said, like Young Miami did on the Breakfast Club, you know, I don't think I'd really want my son to be gay. She got a little backlash for that. I would disagree with that backlash. Somebody can have that opinion with their family and their child. They can have it. Don't mean I hate you. Doesn't mean I hate you. <clears throat> I just don't particularly agree with that lifestyle, right? And everybody's going to be different because then they'll say, well, well, young Miami don't have a problem with shaking their hands in front of her kids and doing this and debauchery and not having baby. That's their lifestyle. Just like you are able to choose your lifestyle and you're able to dictate how you do with your family, and you're able to dictate the way that you move within your life. This person, as long as they're not spreading hate, you know, unless they're not harming you, you cannot force nobody to want to be a part of or be down with whatever movement you have. And I'm like that across the board because, like, well, what about right? I don't care either. If a white daddy. Only want his daughter or son to date white people? Hey, brother, that's on him. That's on him. Can, that that's that's on him. No different from a Dr. Umar saying black dudes should and black people should only date. But there's nothing wrong with that's how you feel. And if you mix like me, that's how you that's how they felt. That's how my parents felt. We can't demonify people and make everybody fall in line to one idea. Everything's good. You must accept. You must do this. As long as you ain't per perpetuating hate against somebody, then it's all it's all fair game. But that's bigotry and this and that, bro. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it every single time. Social media is trying to make the world and make people be saints and be perfect. Everybody's not perfect. Everybody said a racist joke once or twice just to be funny, right? Everybody's done it. You probably go on my Twitter and see some shit when I was in high school, said some stupid shit. 
I mean, I hate people. I mean, I hate you now. Or this, this. We just did it. It was a part of the times. The baby's apology was, you know, left field. It wasn't that good because, like I said, this is how, you should, how, how I'm about to read his apology. You know what? I'm going to read it right now, and then we're going to get to Boosie and all this other stuff. I'm going to read his apology first, then we're going to get to Boosie. Because, like I said, I don't like tying these two things that I, me personally now, you could feel like they all go together, but I just don't see the correlation. But anyways, this is apology. This is uh, the baby's officially apology after being dropped after all these festivals. Social media moves so fast that people want to demolish you before you even have the opportunity to grow, educate, and learn from your mistakes. As a man who has had to make his own way from very difficult circumstances, don't try to that, you know, you're trying to get the sympathy. <laughs> Having people I know publicly working against me Knowing that what I needed was education on these topics and guidance has been challenging. I feel like he's talking about Dua Lipa there. I appreciate the many people who came to see me with kindness, who reached out to me privately to offer, offer wisdom, education, and resources. That's when I needed it, and it was received. I want to apologize to the LGBTQ plus community for the hurtful and triggering comments I made again. I apologize for my misinformed comments about HIV AIDS, and I know education on this important love uh, is important. Love to all. God bless the baby. So that <laughs> the baby is the apology you should have dropped in the beginning. Because if he had dropped that apology in the beginning, there would be no, you know, there would be the few people on Twitter talking shit, whatever. You know, you're always you're never gonna run away from those people. There's always gonna be a few that just you know. Let it go. They just can't let it go. They're going to kill him no matter what. But I feel like he wouldn't have had the overwhelming. And if, and if he would have had the overwhelming backlash after that apology, I'd be like, okay, y'all doing too much. Maybe he was just misinformed. He don't know. He, he, ain't, he ain't doing studies on HIV. He probably still think it kills you. And he, he don't know. God damn. I mean, he ain't young. So I ain't going to give him the young card. I think he's like 29, 30. So he's grown. But, you know. He not a damn epidemiologist or whatever the hell you got to be to know about diseases back and forth, right? Was it stupid? Yes, like I said, a person dis talking about diseases is stupid. Because it's like, brother, that's like me going on stage. Like, hey, if you ain't got breast cancer that might kill you in three to four months, put your motherfucking hands in the air right now. And people with breast cancer are like, no, what the fuck is you doing? I ain't picked that life. I ain't asked for breast cancer. I ain't asked for it. But that's the apology that he should have dropped from the jump. And that would have been all, it, I think it would have been all good if he did that, right? So that's, you know, the, the baby debacle story. I do want to play this boosty clip just because I want to get into the conversation of shit not correlating before I get up out of here. So here's Boosie and his response to the festivals dropping the baby. This is the boot. You got to, okay, whether you agree with Boosie or not, you got to respect how he, he, he do not back down from his positions. Whether you believe he right or wrong, he don't back down. Now, that could be because, and this is no disrespect, he's not in a place to where the places where he makes money, I feel like he has a lot to lose. Boosie ain't doing festivals and shit like that. Boosie ain't needing major people, major brands to come and give him bread. Like he he worked the same. Like I said, if you could get hot in the South, like he is, you could move shit. You could get these young motherfuckers and make pay you to do features. You could do tours in Alabama. This place, like you, you good. He making the bread. The club promoters don't care what you said. They don't give a damn. As long as you bring out the crowd, the club promoters will come and bring you out. So Boosie don't care. But this is what he had to say. It's sad how y'all trying to force this. This gay stuff on the world, bro. It's sad, bro. How y'all trying to ban artists? Y'all sad, bro. It's sad, bro. You know? In 10 years, it, gonna, it, gonna, it ain't gonna be normal for a kid to be straight. You know, it's sad, bro. Y'all trying to force it on, 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 on these kids, bro. You know? You pushing it on the artists. Push it on all the biggest artists. You know why? Because the kids love those artists. You, you're attacking these kids. The kids love these artists. So we're going to make all them promote this shit. We're going to make all them promote it. And who going to follow? The kids. 
It's sad, bro. It's sad, bro. God doing black backflips and his backflips right now. See, I hate. That's what I hate, motherfucker. Bro, people, I hate motherfuckers that try to just use God, bro. Stop trying. Just say you don't fuck with it. Don't use God, bro. Don't use God. Because there's plenty of ungodly shit Boosie do that God will be doing backflips for. Don't be that type of person that, like, only when the Bible and shit kind of go towards your favor that you want to pull that out your back pocket. Now, I didn't say you got to live a godly life because we all sinners and we all make mistakes. But don't, like, don't, don't pick and choose. Where you want to pull that Bible out your back pocket? Oh shit, gay shit, Bible, God, oh God's wrath is coming. Don't, that's corny. But like you know, to me he has a point only in the fact of for kids who are the big acts for kids right now. Lil Nas X is obviously big, and people are you. He don't put me. He told you it's not for kids. He, he, he. I don't care what he says. I don't care. He can say he make music for people that's thirty five and up. He don't. He make music for kids. And I don't have a problem with him being gay. I just have a problem with promoting raunchy, raunchy, just raunchiness to kids. He can be gay, whatever. He's gay, whatever. But when you know kids watching your shit, because one of my friends made a great point. What's the little Nas X song that got all kids on him? When he was performing in elementary schools, what song was that? Old Town Road. Right? Old Town Road, smash. Ain't got nothing to do with gay, nothing. Just uh, horses in a bag. Good time. Hey, 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 kids love it. So when you on YouTube, right? Your kid on YouTube, oh, that's a little, hey, horses in a bag, hey. Oh, daddy, song's over. Up next. Yeah, 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 yeah. Naked dancing in the shower. What the hell going on here? There's a jump. That's the shit that be going on. Oh, he's on the devil. We damn we just listen to Old Time Road. How we get to the devil? Because don't tell me that nigga, the kid, fan base ain't kids. Look at his trajectory. He went from that to Panini, which he had Sky Jackson is, was in Disney Star, Sky Jackson, Panini. Boom, then he went to some, hey, it's a holiday, Christmas songs. And then 2021, he want to get, you know, out of that mode. They want to break through the mold. Like Miley Cyrus trying to break through the mold. She got raunch. Like, they feel like getting raunchy is the only way to break the mold. But it's still kids watching your shit. So I agree with that, you know. Like, I don't, but my, I don't agree with they're forcing the bigger artists to do it. Because what other artists is doing it? Do do Boosie got a problem with Young Thug? Now Young Thug isn't gay, but he does, you know, little kiss his friends, I love you, boo, whatever he be doing. Does he does he get mad at that? I don't know. And I'm gonna talk about this perspective of rappers who have influence over people doing gay things, right? I do not think Young Thug is um catered. Now, do kids probably listen? Yes. I think kids listen to every rapper that's like mainstream, right? If they fall upon it, I can't really, you know, get mad at that. But when I feel like you're marketing to kids, that's a different scenario. That's a different avenue. Like I said, Lil Nas X can act and say, I am not, I do not make music for kids. Your label know who clicked on them videos. Your label knows who your direct audience is. They know who the direct audience is, and it's kids. Now, also we see, you know, JoJo Siwa, she came out. Right, I have no problem. She's gay. Whatever. She's what, 17? She's gay. Okay. But I don't really see JoJo Siwa. JoJo Siwa ain't say she was gay. And then she started licking coochie in videos and doing this and doing that. She just doing her little rainbow life. She doing her thing. Because she don't feel the need to over. It's always men that got to over-sexualize themselves when it comes to being at that. That's how I look. In entertainment. And I don't know about regular day-to-day life. Entertainment. That's where they do that. So I agree with him on that, but I also don't think that the baby and Lil Nas X correlate in any way. People was trying to make the point that there's this push for the gay agenda because, oh, they didn't say nothing about the baby when he did this, when he makes music about this. When the baby killed somebody in Walmart, they didn't stop him then. They didn't ban him then. Bro, somebody killing somebody in self-defense does not is not a bannable offense. 
any red blooded American would kill somebody when they're trying to encroach on their family. That's not a that's not a good point. But people are in it. But that is right. They didn't care about him killing a black man. But when every time about gay people, they met. No, he it's self defense. Now you could make the argument that festivals are hypocritical whenever they let artists like Lil Durk for, 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 uh, perform in Chicago. We can make that argument. Why you say that? Oh, you know, Lil Durk promotes beef in Chicago. Mox, ops. They, the mayor of Chicago know what's going on in her city. Do you think the police chief don't? I'm not saying that Lil Durk's done anything. They got him in investigations. But you don't think they know who this? Oh, he named this person. They connected this. Boom, boom. Killings here, killings there. About this block, that block, O block, C block. You think they don't know that stuff? So when I see, you know, like a Lil Durk performing in Chicago, who who's more detrimental? That's just a conversation we had. I don't think Lil Durk should be banned from performing. It's just a conversation to be had in that instance, in my opinion. Y'all don't care about that, but y'all care about this. Because the Dirk shit, that's like real life shit. Like they be clowning, like, like if Young and Ace got on there, <clears throat> he clowning like people that's actually dead. No outrage, no uproar about those dead people and their family. Not play, not playing around. Not say like not being like Twenty One Savage. I shot a op down a block. Cop scotch wrap a top. Not shit like that. Just saying shit. That's art. That's whatever. Like that's like saying we did a bad movies with any type of uh, any type of violence or murder. No, no, not talking about that. When you actively naming real people, the real situations. That's where it becomes real. That's where you know I would look at them like, mm, yeah, I don't care about that. Why well, don't care about the real situations that are going on where actual murders took place that's where I'd ask that question that's where I'd ask that question for the festivals uh, so another rapper my bad I got the, you know hey, stay safe everybody I got the vid but you know I got something anyways <clears throat> another rapper he kind of dipped his toe into the LGBTQ beef, and he quickly retracted and went back. Right, so Forty Two Doug, man, he 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 got he got it pretty bad this weekend. I ain't gonna lie to you. He posted a video of him and his son. It was his son's birthday. He's posting pictures of oh, my son's birthday. You, know, you, you put the collection together. You put the little montage. You and your kids. You throw it out there to the people, thinking, oh, oh, he gonna be on there for the shade room. Gonna post hashtag TSR babies and this and that. He gonna be good. No. Post a video of him, you know, licking it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to do. Many people, I like talking about people, kids. But you know, it, it looked a little weird, right? I go go left like everybody else go. Oh, he doing this? I didn't do all that. But it's like kind of like you know, like, oh, licked him a little bit, and it bit him. I don't know what he was doing. I mean, that's how they play. I don't know. That's how they play. I got a son, right? My son's three. I give him sugars all the time. Give me sugar. Da, da, da. Like, that's my, that's my boy. It's my son. I love my son. I don't know if I do that. But he loves his son. Like, you got to, like, bro, nobody's put, reporting the fact that this young man love his son. Was that moment a little weird? Yeah, but, but he loved his son. He's supporting his son. He provided for his son. That should be the focus. But then the one a little bit left. And I can, I can understand how it goes left. I can understand why 42 Doug was upset. I can understand why 42 Doug was mad. Because when you start seeing all that stuff on social media, clowning you about how you show affection to your kids, it can hit a sore spot. It can. A lot of people are insensitive to uh, celebrities because they don't believe that they have the right to be mad when regular people speak to them. That shows you how much they think about themselves. When I be talking shit on here, if a celebrity ever seen it, he got mad at me. I'll be, you're a celebrity, dude. Why are you talking to me? I'm not. Nah, nah. All right, what, what's, what's the problem? Well, let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation. You a human, I'm a human. Let's talk. But people get all kind of, oh, why are you responding to me? I'm nobody. No, no, no. Now you talking shit, I'm going to respond. So this is what I mean when he dipped his toe into the LGBTQ conversation. Ain't nobody going for that gay ass, hoe ass shit y'all on. Y'all quit to get on some gay bitch ass shit. But when a nigga jump down on one of you hoe niggas and call somebody out, we homophobic. Don't nobody give a fuck about that shit y'all do. Uh, don't none of us, we in a, hold on, hold on, I'm fucking it all up. 
Don't nobody give a fuck about that shit, y'all. Don't none of us. We entertainers. That's it. He fucked up, not me. He added, "We're not here to coach you on a, on, on life." If I say I'm not with that gay shit, that's where y'all should leave it. Quit trying to shove that shit down niggas' throats. A gay nigga be on national TV tonguing another hoe-ass nigga, but that's okay, though. Y'all or no motherfuckers on earth ain't finna make me like shit I don't like. Now, I don't know what that had to do with him licking his son's neck, but he quickly deleted that. And all the bogs and shit picked it up, but he quickly did. Yo Gotti hit him. He signed to Yo Gotti. Doug, take take that motherfucking shit down. You see what just happened to the baby? Nigga, we got all these goddamn festivals. You the fucking look. I don't want to disrespect 42 Doug. He, he, he hot. You know, he on the ride. But you ain't one of the big The baby the big name on the damn festival. He took his ass out quick. You think I'm going to take your little ass name off the goddamn festival? Take that shit down real quick. Took it down. Right? Because they're like, ah, look, gay, whole ass shit. You, you gotta, you're going down the lane of the baby. You fucking up. You, when they attacking you, and he also said, suck my dick, gay ass bitch. Now, you want gay dudes to suck your dick? I mean, that's another conversation that you might want to have with somebody else. Because I was like, he put that on the side of the post. He put one long ass post, and on the side said, suck my dick, gay bitches. Yeah, okay. That's what you want. But, then he apologized. Apology, Yo Gotti, like I said, Yo Gotti was on that phone. Nigga, you better fucking apologize. You ain't fucking with this bag. I know we doing great. I know Money Bag doing, I know Money Bag is that guy. Now, he bringing in money for the label. You know, my boy Black Youngster, he ain't really been, but Black Youngster can pop out with a hit every once in a while. ESTG just dropped, you know, but 42, we need your money too. So 42 went on to apologize, and that's what he had to say. It never be my intention to offend anybody, even when I'm offended. So for that, I am sorry. Usually I'm a I'm a very private person when it comes to personal shit such as my son and my family. In general, people always tell me I need to take more pictures or you know let my fans see something about me other than music. Yesterday I called myself doing that. My son's birthday was the weekend, so I decided I would let y'all see how much fun we had. And it went on to, like it went on to say shit like um you know, just not going to do that anymore because you know, whenever I I tried to go family guy. Y'all took it a whole nother way. Same thing happened to Tom Brady. When Tom Brady kissed his son who's like 12, people oh my, but it's a, it's a kid. I, I don't know if y'all like hyper-sexualize y'all kids, but I don't think there's nothing wrong for a dude to want to like show his kid affection. Ain't nothing wrong. Like, but that's your, that's your son. That's your whatever. Like, that's your kid. Give me a kiss. You're my kid. I'm not looking at it in no weird, pedo, nasty way. Now, if you're looking like that, you got to psychoanalyze your brain, maybe your childhood, and how you was raised. But, like, bro, you're just showing your kid affection. I don't think there's no problem with that. Right? I don't think there's no problem with that. That's your kid. They always going to be your kid. That's your. Now, when you have kids and you say, that's my baby, when they. When I'm. Hold on. Let's say, when I'm 60. And my son's 20 or 30, I don't know, 30s, maybe late 30s. If I see myself a creep, I'm going to come here and say, I don't know if we're going to kiss on lips or shit like that, but that's my boy. It's my son.